On this month's edition of What's New at DXE, new radios, antennas, GMRS kits, and more. Welcome back to the DX Engineering channel. I'm Michael, KI8R. Once again, I have a lot to show you, so let's dive in with new shortwave receivers. First up is the Perseus 22 4 channel direct sampling SDR receiver. This radio has four independent receivers, two on VLF to HF and two for VHF. It uses a 14 bit A to D converter and covers 10 kHz to 70 MHz and 70 MHz to 225 MHz, but is usable up to 240 MHz. It supports AM, CW, RIDI, sideband, and FM. Next up is the Perseus FDM SDR receiver. This radio is similar to the Perseus 22, except that it only has a single receiver that covers 10 kHz to 30 MHz. It supports sideband CW, AM, and FM. Both the Perseus SDR receivers attach to your computer via USB. The software currently runs on Windows 10 and 11, with versions for iOS, Linux, and others coming soon. The next rig on our list is the Kiwi SDR Independent SDR Network Receiver. The Kiwi SDR covers 10 kHz to 30 MHz, has an integrated GPS receiver, features a 14-bit ADC, and has excellent dynamic range. This receiver is different from other SDR receivers in that it's a standalone device that attaches to your local network and can be accessed from a browser on your local network or through the internet. The onboard software supports Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and Opera on Windows, Mac, and Linux, and can support up to four simultaneous connections, each with their own independently controlled audio and waterfall channels. Next is the ELAD FDM Duo R SDR receiver. The Duo R covers 9 kHz to 54 MHz. It includes two antenna inputs with pre-programmable band edges so that the correct antenna can be used with the correct band. The receiver can be used standalone or with a computer giving it features like a waterfall display, decoding, recording, and more. It also has 10 slots for optional high pass and band pass filters. The radio supports CW, sideband, AM, and FM. The last receive only radio on our list is the Choyong LC90 multiband internet radio. The LC90 is an AM, FM, and shortwave receiver that also has connectivity to the internet via a 4G SIM card or Wi Fi to listen to over 40,000 pre programmed internet radio stations. The LC90 can also double as a Bluetooth speaker and supports an SD card with various audio formats. It's powered by two 18650 rechargeable lithium batteries with 5,000 milliamp hours, giving it up to 48 hours of continuous operation. These batteries can be recharged via USB-C. Next, let's look at some new antennas. Moonraker has three new multiband ID-FID antennas. The 11492 is 32.8 feet long and covers 40 through 6 meters. The 11494 is 65.6 feet long and adds 80 meters. The 11496 is 136.8 feet long and adds 160 meters. Each of these antennas comes with a 9 to 1 on it and can handle up to 400 watts. These antennas will require an antenna tuner. And next up, Chameleon Antenna has a new HF antenna loading coil. This is an inductive loading coil that when paired with their 58 inch, 17 foot, or 25 foot whips, lowers the resonant frequency, allowing for operation on the lower bands. For example, when paired with the SS58 58 inch whip, the antenna will work down to 30 meters. When paired with the SS17 17 foot whip, the antenna will work down to 40 meters. And when paired with the SS25 25 foot whip, the antenna will work down to 60 meters. The coil is rated at up to 200 watts on sideband and 100 watts on CW. And to go along with the coil, Chameleon is now offering the SS58 58 inch whip and the SS25 25 foot whip. DX Engineering is collaborating with Chameleon to produce two new antennas, the Soda Activation Zone AZ1 and the Soda AZ2. 
The AZ-1 is a portable infed antenna that is non-resonant and covers 60 through 10 meters. It's 42 feet long and can handle 100 watts on sideband and 50 watts on CW and digital. The AZ-2 is a portable link dipole for 40, 30, and 20 meters, which again can handle 4 up to 100 watts on sideband and 50 watts on CW and digital. Both of these antennas are lightweight, include the antenna wire, BNC connector, paracord, line winder, and a carry pouch. The Chelligan's M104 is a new mobile vertical for 40, 20, 15, and 10 meters. The antenna includes a 4.59 foot whip, the antenna base, and four loading coils. It also includes a handy carrying box for all the parts of the antenna. Chelligan's is also offering a matching truck lip mount for this antenna. Now, let's shift gears and look at some other new items. If you're looking for a portable table for your next POTA outing, Gator has just what you need. The Gator Cases Framework Portable Utility Table is heavy duty and measures 32 and a quarter by 18 and a quarter inches. It can be adjusted for up to 40 inches high and has a maximum capacity of 100 pounds. 12 volt power is offering a power pole crimp tool kit, which includes the ratcheting style crimp tool and a 155 piece assorted power pole connector kit. The connector kit includes plenty of housings, contact pins for 15, 30, and 45 amps, along with retention clips and dust covers. It also includes a heavy duty nylon carrying bag, which makes it easy to store the tool, connectors, cables, radios, and more. This kit will give you everything you need to crimp your own power pole connectors. Coaxial Dynamics has dry dummy loads that are rated from DC to 2.5 GHz. There are two versions, one with an intermittent power rating of 150 watts, while the other has an intermittent power rating of 250 watts. These dummy loads are air-cooled and use a Type-N female connector. Now let's look at some new transceivers. ELAD has the new FDM Duo R SDR QRP transceiver with 5 watts of output. The rig can be used with or without a PC. It has three USB 2.0 interfaces, one for CAT control, another for digital IQ for the waterfall, and a third for the sound card making it easy to use on the digital modes. It has two antenna connectors and can be configured to use the receive antenna on the second antenna port. Frequency range is from 9 kHz to 54 MHz, and it works on CW, sideband, AM, and FM. It also has selectable filters for each mode and 200 memories. When connected to a PC, it supports up to four simultaneous virtual receivers in single channel mode, or up to eight simultaneous virtual receivers in dual channel mode. This rig is also available in black as the Duo B model. Anytone has just released the new ATD168UV dual band 2 and 440 analog and DMR HT. This radio includes two batteries, one rated at 1800 and another at 2600 milliamp hours, has USB C charging and programming, two antennas, including the 5 inch standard whip and a 15 inch whip, wall charger, speaker mic, and the Bridgecom University training course. The rig has four power levels of 5, 2.5, 1, and 0.2 watts. It holds up to 500,000 contacts, 10,000 talk groups, 4,000 channels, and 256 zones. It also has a 1.77 inch TFT color display and can do voice recording. One thing to note is that this radio only receives and transmits from 144 to 148 and 420 to 450. Also, the CPS software is available as a free download. Yesu has three new mobile radios. The FT3165 RASP is similar to the older FT3100. It includes a front-facing speaker, a fan that pulls air through the radio, 220 memories, 5 watts of audio, and a new mic that allows for frequency entry. It also includes the SDX feature, which increases the receiver sensitivity as well as enhances the audio using audio signal processing. The 3165 is 2.87 pounds and measures 6.07 inches wide, 1.7 inches high, and 6.1 inches deep. The rig has three power levels of 65, 30, and 5 watts 
and will require 11 amps on high power. Receive range is from 136 to 174, which means there is no airband. It does have NOAA weather receive and can be configured to receive weather alerts. The FT3185 RASP is similar to the older FT2980. Built like a tank, this radio has a huge heatsink, 221 memories, PMG or primary memory grouping, customs favorite list for up to nine of the most commonly used menu items, a new mic, and the SDX feature like the 3165. The 3185 is 4.2 pounds and measures 6.3 inches wide, 2 inches tall, and 7.3 inches deep. The rig has four power levels of 85, 50, 20, and 5 watts. And like the 3165, it can receive from 136 to 174 and can be configured for NOAA weather alerts. The FTM150 RASP is somewhat similar to the FTM500, except that it's only analog. It has a heavy duty heatsink with a fan that pulls air through the body of the radio, has 6 watts of audio that's divided between the two speakers which are located in the head and the body of the radio, 1103 memories, primary memory grouping, customs favorite list, a new mic, and the SDX features like the other two Yesu mobiles. The 150 is 2.65 pounds and measures 5.5 inches wide, 1.7 inches high, and 5.24 inches deep. The rig has three power levels of 55 on VHF, 50 on UHF, 25, and 5 watts. The rig will receive four different banks, covering 108 to 137 MHz, 137 to 174 MHz, 174 to 400 MHz, and 400 to 550 MHz. And just like its siblings, this radio can be configured for NOAA weather radio alerts. Each of the Yesu mobiles comes with a three-year warranty. In the last several months, there has been a lot of conversation about emergency preparedness. With this in mind, DX Engineering has put together a number of emergency readiness packages, including some for GMRFs. Each of these packages has been carefully assembled to take the guesswork out of emergency preparedness, providing you with everything you need to stay connected when normal communications fail. These kits are ideal for family or neighborhood communications. They're also excellent, an excellent choice for traveling in multiple vehicles to help everyone stay connected. They're also great for camping, hiking, or hunting. Some of these packages will include essential items such as weather radios, backpacks, flashlights, or a first aid kit. And the best part of GMRS is that one license covers your immediate family. Many of these items are currently in stock and ready to ship. Be sure to check the links below for each of the items that we looked at today. Thanks for watching. I'm Michael, KI8R. We'll catch you on the next one.